Three, two, one. Ohayou gozaimasu. Jiko o shoukai shima shouka. Namai wa? Kevin Kun desu. You don't call yourself Kun, that's like for other people. This is Miki chan. Nihon ni sunda koto arimasu ka? I was there for five years when I was a kid. I went to first grade in Japan. And I was born in Japan, but I left when I was three years old, so my Japanese is like roughly at the level of a three year old. Arigato gozaimasu, boksu desu. What he's trying to say is thank you so much to Boxu for sponsoring today's video. We are literally so excited, but more on that later. Anyways, Japan has a really special place in both of our hearts because we have both lived there. Today, we are actually testing our knowledge on Japanese, on Japanese culture, Japanese movies. We both got whiteboards here. We're gonna write down our answers. You're in Tokyo on your way to work. On the early morning train, you see your friend. What do you say? Oh, that's easy. Oh my god, I have not. Ohio. So you both got that answer correct. Your friend asks, how are you? What's your reply? What if you don't feel good though? What the hell does that mean? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Genki desu means that I'm feeling healthy. Genki, Genki is like I'm feeling good, yeah. Okay. You're scoring better than I thought you would. <laughs> what do you mean we went through like, questions? Impressed. You make plans to meet your friend next week, but you have to get off the train now. What do you tell your friend? Oh, this is so easy. Wait, actually, next week? I thought I said tomorrow. <laughs> I would say Johnny, actually. Three, two, one. Sayonara! <gasps> okay, we have a dispute. I Where's would say, bye -bye? I think sayonara is too formal. Jane is like something you're like, oh, okay, like bye. Do you know what I'm saying? The correct answer is Jane. What does that even mean? It means like bye, but like informally. You wouldn't be like goodbye, sir, you know? Sayonara! But like sayonara is not an incorrect answer. At work, your boss introduces you to a new coworker. What do you say? Gambate kurasai. That means that means good job or something. Yoroshiku o onegai mimashimasu. I'm trying to channel my inner Japanese. It's like somewhere deep, dark, deep inside my brain. The correct answer is. Oh, you're right. Wait, why would you not say hajimemashite? It's like the first it's like time. Nice like, to meet you, right? Hajimashita. It has become. Oh, oh, it's it's because the word is written incorrectly. I didn't read it completely. It's hajimemashite, but it says hajimemashita, which means to start. I'm gonna read my answer thoroughly. I don't feel good about this. We are tied. Your new co-worker is considered your Okay, three, two, one. Yay, point for both of us. Wow, I'm really impressed you didn't I choose the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that means? Isn't that like... <laughs> like, like Perfect. anime <laughs> or something? <laughs> oh, this one's all in English. Oh, that's easy. Oh. Let's make it more difficult. You want to order taco. What is it? That's so easy. You know what it is? You were looking at my answer. I was not. I do not need your help. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Did it, did it. Octopus. I'm amazed. Okay, how do you say? Takoyaki. Oh, that's why you know it. I was like, how do you know this? Your coworker is drunk and kind of annoying. What do you say? Oh, she got it. Tomete Genki wo ta. Tabete is like yummy or something. Scotty stick. What do you have? <laughs> no tomato. What? Oh, what, do you, what do you think that means? What do you think that means? Yield or something. Scotty stick. Pull which yourself means, together. Yeah, it means to like pull yourself together. Tomete means to stop. Yeah, what is wrong with that? Tell them to stop doing being <laughs> annoying. It's time to go home. How do you ask for the bill? I'm looking at the. I I will, I know this one. You know this one? <laughs> <laughs> o cheku. <laughs> oh, check. I'm reading like the kanji and trying to look, figure it out from Chinese. <laughs> Cause that one means gold. That one is oh, check. Ah, that sounds so right, but so wrong. Oh, <laughs> check. You're not debating the oh, check option. Okay. <laughs> yeah, are you sure you don't want the oh, option? <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> that one is so wrong. Three, two, one. 
I have option number one, okaike o onegai shimasu. I have okane. Answer is. Asking for money. Okane o onegai shimasu, like money please, like what you're saying. <laughs> We are getting a little bit hungry, so we're so excited to be working with Bug Sue so that we can get some cute little Japanese snacks. But Kevin and I are both really committed to learning more about our Japanese culture and learning more Japanese, of course, and no better way to do that than to snack our way through Japan. So Bug Sue is actually a monthly subscription service where they deliver Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your door. So every Bug Sue has a specific theme to take you through a gourmet journey through Japan. And so we're gonna show you these two. For the first box that you receive is called the Seasons of Japan box, which has snacks for every season for Japan. And they have this very pretty little pamphlet to kind of guide you through all the different snacks. It even has a little map to tell you where in Japan each of the snacks comes from. And then following the Seasons of Japan box, you will actually get a monthly themed box. This month's theme is actually Boksu's Tanjobi, which Tanjobi means birthday. It's also Kevin's birthday month, so this is perfect for us. What I really, really love about these pamphlets is not only do you learn more about the theme and the food, it teaches you Japanese. I keep all of the little pamphlets that I get because you get to learn so much about Japanese culture and you guys know I'm already a snack connoisseur so this is literally right up my alley. Baksu actually partners with 100 plus year old snack makers to make sure that these snacks are authentic and the best best selection for us. They do have a special code for us if you use my coupon code pop up here and the link in the description box you will actually be able to get $15 off your very first box. Please enjoy your Japanese snacks with us. <laughs> What is the top operational speed of the Shinkansen? Oh, we should know this. I don't know what kilometer, how many miles are in a kilometer? One. 320. Is that 400? <laughs> you were right. I think they can do better. It's like 200 miles per it's hour. It's literally so fast, like it's <laughs> crazy. Japan. Japan is renowned for its incredible food. Which city is nicknamed the Kitchen of Japan? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Nagasaki no Osaka. Kobe B? <laughs> What'd you say? Kobe. I said Fukuoka. <laughs> We're both the wrong. It's Osaka. Really? really? I've never eaten I food. feel like, okay, maybe I need to go with someone different then. I feel Is like Fukuoka, I Fukuoka, that's where the, isn't that where the... Jiro Dreams of Sushi restaurant is. And now we are going to do a How Well Do You Know Studio Ghibli Movies, which we are both big fans, but I can't say I'm the best at like movie trivia. Which film was Studio Ghibli's first official production? Oh, I'm in between two. I'm in between three. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not Totoro. Is it the Valley of the Wind one? I'm gonna oh, go with Nausicaa. You're probably right. I have no, I was I in between Castle, Castle and, and Nausicaa. No, it's Castle in the Sky! Congratulations! That's my favorite one, and Mickey doesn't like that one. Which Studio Ghibli film was not directed by Miyazaki? Oh, I think I know this. I don't think I've watched that, this one. The one that makes you cry? Grave of the Firefly. You've never watched it? It's my yeah. mom's favorite movie. Which Studio Ghibli character is featured on the logo? Oh, that's so easy. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Totoro! We have a Totoro themed bathroom that's still a work in progress. Which okay. Studio Ghibli film is based on The Little Mermaid? It ain't Spirited Away. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, have you watched Ponyo? Yeah. What is that about? Uh, it's, it's about like. A little, it's like a little human that like does turn into a fish. Okay. But, like, <laughs> but I don't really see like Little Mermaid. It's the story of someone wanting to change. It's like a change. girl, but she's like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, it if you turned put it that legs. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll go with Ponyo. <laughs> group quiz. Okay, group quiz. Okay, ready? Let's see. Watch it be the other one. Okay, thank God. That would have been really interesting. We need to watch some movies. In this next quiz, we have to name the movie based on one screenshot. Who is this man? Okay, ready? <laughs> I'm gonna fail. Yeah, you're right. It is Howl. Who's that guy? How do you know which Howl's moving castle? I don't remember what happened. This is my favorite movie. 
No, it's not. It's my favorite movie. It's my favorite movie. It's my favorite movie. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. You know away. all the conspiracy theories of whether like dragon is like his her brother or like. You know what I'm waiting for, Hunter Hunter, to have more seasons. <laughs> That's <laughs> not completely <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> A magic crystal leads to- I've watched this one! It looks a little windy and it looks like they're in the sky so I'm gonna go with the wind rises or castle in the sky. I'm gonna go with castle in the sky. What did you say? Oh, you're right! <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Isn't this the engineer dude? What? What movie have we recently watched? The Wind Rises. Isn't that the one where they build like a little airplane? I don't know which girl oh we watched it with, but it wasn't Can me. Can we look at what the Wind Rises character looks like? Oh, we did watch this! This is a cute one. We also have plushies of this in our bathroom. Three, two, one. Kiki's delivery service! I wanted to name my cat Gigi. If I got a cat, but... J-I-J-I -I in Mandarin means something else, so <laughs> I don't think Kevin would appreciate that. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed watching this video with us. We had so much fun. Don't forget to get this video to 10,000 likes if you want to see us speak in Japanese for 24 hours. Hi. <laughs> That's all Kevin's going to say for 24 Oishi. hours. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!